polar bears are a very different and challenging radar target, as it turns out, because of all that soft fur. They're large, but the radar sees the softness. Yep, you heard that right. This radar is not tracking storms. Instead, it's using AI to keep the community of Churchill, Manitoba safe as the polar bears migrate towards the newly formed sea ice on the Hudson Bay. It just alerts an operator and it gives them the opportunity for someone to track that bear in real time while officers or other responsible people respond. This year we've had actually a lot of uh, bear calls. Bears frequenting into the community or on the edges of the community. We're actually now walking them along the coast. The guys will pick them up and actually walk them right through town with cracker shells and, and just along the coastline, out to Cape Mary, across the Hudson Bay. Then we, we never have to handle them. We don't put drugs through them, we never handle them. And we got a bear that, you know, it's an occurrence, but it's not a bear handled. And that's a huge success. The Polar Bear Alert Program also operates a 24-hour hotline from August to November. This way, residents and tourists can report polar bears, especially if they're making it into downtown Churchill. You know, our community has been dubbed the polar bear capital of the world. It's been some time now. We've done, I think, a very remarkable job of the whole coexistence factor in terms of making sure that bears are safe, the community is safe. Since we started this control program in the early 80s, yeah, the numbers have decreased significantly. We haven't had a fatality since the early 80s, and we haven't had a mauling for the last number of years. With the new addition of polar bear radar, this gives the community an extra sense of safety, especially at nighttime and during snowstorms. This season, the team will continue to fine tune its success rate. And that boils down to using onboard artificial intelligence to differentiate between a polar bear and a person, a polar bear and a moose, a polar bear and an arctic fox. The big thing is understanding that you have early detection you can use your deterrent actions to move the bears and to move them into a place or position that they're no longer a threat to the people of, of the town.